Let's move on to our next segment yep. here. This segment is called High Limits. And uh, we are feeling the effects of, <coughs> of the high. Oh, yeah. For sure. This, this lovely blueberry butter is delicious. Whew. And uh, what are some high limits that you're going to be facing when it comes to personal finances? You know, Eugene, we were chatting earlier about the topic of credit cards yeah. as one area, right? I mean, credit cards have credit limits mm. attached to them. And you know, tell us a little bit about your, your experience and what we were just chatting about earlier and, yep. and kind of what your take is on, on kind of what you're, you're dealing with. Uh, so I had a very, very momentous moment happen to me last week where my credit limit went from 1K to 3K, which is a pretty big deal. From $1,000 to $3,000. Yep, yep. And that kind of came out of nowhere. I wasn't expecting it, but it was a fun thing to see that while I am at a you know, part-time job, three different jobs, still managing my finances in a, res a responsible way has helped me realize that credit increase. And that's something that we want to make sure our viewers at home really understand, right? The credit limit that you're going to have on your credit cards, just because you have a $3,000 limit now, Eugene, does that mean that you have to spend more money? Do you have to spend nope. any differently than you were doing before? Nope, nope, not at all. And, and having that credit limit at $3,000 versus at $1,000, does that help or hurt your credit score? I think it doesn't hurt at all. It doesn't, no, it, it helps it. Yeah, it definitely helps. It does helps. very well. Part of your credit score is this ratio mm -hmm. where the, the bank that's giving you this credit card mm -hmm. wants to know, hey, how much money do you have available to you and how much are you actually using all the time? So if the ratio of how much you're using is a small percentage of how much is actually available mm -hmm. to you, to a bank that's lending you that money, that looks positive yep. upon you. It's yep. like, hey, you're responsible. You, you could access even more, but, but you don't. No, you don't need it. And so for that purpose, being able to increase your credit limits, even for our viewers at home who have a $5,000 credit limit or a $2,000 credit limit or a $10,000 credit limit. Again, the higher your credit limit, you'll see the credit scores are also going to be mm -hmm. increasing. So that's that's sweet, man. I mean, look, high limits. There is no reason why you can't be using cannabis yeah. and still responsibly using your credit cards. Because do, exactly. do you pay off your credit card at the end of each month? Oh, yeah, yeah. On time, definitely. And that's the way to do it, guys. There's, there's a myth that says that Paying off your credit card at the end of the month is bad. Like, that is bull crap. Don't believe that. Pay off your credit card in full or else you're going to get hit with interest. You need to pay preach. off that. Yeah, seriously, preach. <laughs> Don't say it louder for the people in the back. <laughs> pay off your credit cards in full at the end of each month. That is the only way to use credit cards. They are 30-day loans, so if you charge something on the first, you better make sure it's paid off at the end of the month. Love it. Yeah, that's great.